Hello guys, welcome to the video lecture on introduction to accounting. So our topic in today's video is all about ledger assignment. Let's go through this example. From the following transaction for the month of April 2020, we have been asked to draw up the ledger account of Amit Sen in the books of Alok Bose. So on 5th of April, Alok Bose sold goods on credit to Amit Sen for value of rupees 30,000. And on 7th April, Amit Sen has returned back goods valued rupees 4,000. In the meantime, on 9th of April, Alok Bose purchased goods from Amit Sen rupees 15,000. On 12th April, received a check from Amit Sen in full settlement of his dues of rupees 10,000. And on 15th of April, the check received from Amit Sen was returned dishonored. On 20th April, received from Amit Sen cash rupees 4,500 on account. And on 25th of April, Amit Sen was declared insolvent and a final dividend at the rate 50% was received. Now, we have been asked to draw up the ledger account for the month of April 2020 in the books of Alok Bose. So kindly note, we haven't been asked to open up the journals. We have been asked to draw up directly the ledger account of only Amit Sen account in the books of Alok Bose. So you did not need to do the journals. Secondly, you did not need to open up all necessary ledger accounts. You only require to open up the ledger account of Amit Sen in the books of Alok Bose. Now let's discuss how we pass the entry. So the first transaction on 5th of April, Alok Bose sold goods on credit to Amit Sen rupees 30,000. Since we are doing in the books of Alok Bose and the ledger account is of Amit Sen, since Alok Bose has sold goods on credit to Amit Sen, Amit Sen being a personal account receiver will be debited and sales account to be credited. Therefore, since we are doing Amit Sen's ledger account, sales account will be recorded on the debit side of Amit Sen's account for rupees 30,000. Let's move on to the next transaction. On April 7th, Amit Sen returned goods valued rupees 4,000. So previously on 5th of April, Alok Bose sold goods on credit to Amit Sen and Amit Sen thereafter has returned back on 7th of goods valued rupees 4,000. So previously it was considered sales. So it will be sales return on 7th. So sales return account will be debited or return inward account to be debited. And Amit Sen is a giver because he has returned it back. So return inward account debit to Amit Sen. So on the credit side of Amit Sen's ledger account on 7th of April 2020, buy return inward account rupees 4000. Let's move on to the next transaction. On 9th of April, Alok Bose purchased goods from Amit Sen rupees 15,000. Now since Alok Bose has purchased goods from Amit Sen, so it will be purchase account debit to Amit Sen because Amit Sen is a giver and Alok Bose has purchased goods. So the journal entry is purchase account debit to Amit Sen. So on the credit side of Amit Sen's account, purchase account will be recorded. So on 9th of April 2020, buy purchase account 15,000. Let's move on to the next transaction. On 12th of April, received a check from Amit Sen in full settlement of his dues of rupees 10,000. Now we understand that a payment has been made for rupees 10,000, but what was the actual amount required to be paid? We required to calculate because it has been clearly mentioned in full settlement of his dues of rupees 10,000. Now we require to find out the actual amount due. So under such circumstances, on 12th of April, we require to do a working. So the working is with respect to the calculation of discount as on 12th of April. Now if you remember on 5th of April, Alok Bose sold goods on credit to Amit Sen and the value was 30,000. So we have mentioned goods sold on credit to Amit Sen which is 30,000. Followed by that Amit Sen returned goods valued rupees 4,000. So we have subtracted that and we got 26,000 is the current due balance. Thereafter, on 9th of April, there has been a reverse transaction where Alok Bose has purchased goods from Amit Sen valued rupees 15,000. So we required to adjust from 26,000. So we deducted 15,000 from 26,000. So the current amount which required to be paid by Amit Sen is 11,000. Now Amit Sen has settled his account by paying rupees 10,000 via a check, which means to say the total amount due was 11,000 and Amit Sen has settled his account by paying 10,000. It means that Alok Bose has allowed a discount of rupees 1,000. Therefore, the journal entry will be bank account debit since you are receiving 10,000. Alok Bose is receiving 10,000. So bank account debit 10,000. Alok Bose has, has allowed discount. So discount allowed account debit 1,000 to Amit Sen account 11,000. Therefore, on the credit side of Amit Sen's ledger account, both bank and discount allowed has to be recorded. So buy bank account 10,000 and buy discount allowed account 1,000. 
If you note, by discount allowed, we have marked it as number 1, which refers to working number 1. Why we require to show this particular working? Because 1000 rupees, which has been identified as discount, is not there in the problem. So it's an alien figure. So whenever there is an alien figure, we require to show the calculation. Let's move on to the next transaction. On 15th of April, check received from Amit Sen was returned dishonored. Now dishonored means to say that the check has bounced. The check might have bounced because of wrong signature or it might happen that there is an insufficient fund. Now relating to the journal, it has to be the reverse entry of the entry which we already have passed. So previously we passed bank account debit discount allowed account debit to Amit Sen when we have received the check. Since it got dishonored, we require to reverse the transaction. So bank and discount which was previously debited required to be credited and Amit Sen account which was credited required to be debited. So as on date, Amit Sen is supposed to pay you 11,000 and we have entered it in Amit Sen's ledger account. If you check the debit side, bank and discount allowed has been recorded on the debit side on 15th of April 2020 with the respective amount of rupees 10,000 and 1,000. Let's move on to the next transaction. On 20th of April, receipt from um, Amit Sen cash rupees 4,500 on account. So the total due from Amit Sen was 11,000 and Amit Sen has paid rupees 4,500 in cash. So journal entry is cash account debit to Amit Sen account. So on the credit side of Amit Sen's ledger account, we have posted by cash account on 20th of April 2020 rupees 4,500. Let's move on to the last transaction. On 25th of April, Amit Sen was declared insolvent and a final dividend of 50% was received. So Alok Bose has received only 50% of the amount. So we require to calculate what has been the total due which Alok Bose should have got because he has got only 50% so we require to show the calculation and the workings. So let's discuss working number 2. Calculation of bad debt as on 25th of April 2020. Now if you remember the amount stands due from Amit Sen was 11,000 and on 20th of April Amit Sen has paid cash rupees 4,500. Therefore 11,000 minus 4,500 is 6,500 which required to be paid. Now on 25th of April, Amit Sen was declared insolvent and you have only received 50%. Therefore out of 6,500, if you have received cash only 50% which accounts to 3,250 and the rest amount 6,500 6, minus 3,250 that is 3,250 stands as bad date. Therefore the journal entry is cash account debit 3,250 Batted account debit, the rest part 3250 to Amit Sen account. So on the credit side of Amit Sen's ledger account, we will be posting cash and bad debt of the respective amount of 3250. And we have marked it as 2 with refers to working number 2 where the calculation relating to 3250 has been shown. Now we require to close the ledger account. Now since Amit Sen was declared insolvent and you have considered the rest of the amount of rupees 3250 as bad debt. There will be no balance left which required to be paid by Amit Sen because Amit Sen has paid you 3250 and the rest amount 3250 stands bad debt. So as such you are not going to receive any money from this particular account. So this particular account required to be closed and you will find that you will not be able to find out any balance if you draw. So the debit total is 41,000 and you find the credit total is also 41,000 which means to say that the account has been closed in the books of Alok Bose. So Amit Sen's ledger account is closed because Amit Sen has been declared insolvent and you no longer keep Amit Sen's ledger account in the books of Alok Bose. I hope you have understood the basic concept relating to how journal entries required to be posted in ledger account. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day.